Hi. Thought this would be a really simple video to start out with because it's a really simple subject. So, a lot of people have been asking me like why exactly it's important to train an AI and why it's important to do so ethically. Uh, and the simple answer is that it's beyond straightforward uh, and it's actually essentially how exactly it boils down to how AI thinks. Uh, so in essence, you're training a brain, uh, a brain that doesn't know anything at all about the world around it, literally anything. The only thing that it learns are the data that you feed into it and the reinforcement that it receives for completing tasks. Let's frame this in a super duper simple way, Super Mario Brothers. So let's pretend that I want to create an AI and I want to train my, my AI to beat level 1-1 one, one of Super Mario Brothers. How do you think that my AI is going to go about and accomplish that task? Well, in the same way that you would, it, it just would do it just a little bit differently. So, the developers of the very first Super Mario Brothers, they very specifically put the mushroom at the start of level 1-1, one, one, and they put it there to introduce the concept to players immediately, to reward them for exploring, and then essentially to show them that Mario could get big, but that there's boundaries in, in how he can get big. Uh, he has to take a mushroom and he can only get big or small. Uh, and so, essentially within that, if you're not given that rule set, uh, let's say, you were given the the task to beat Super Mario Brothers, but uh, you didn't know what the boundaries were. You were this brain that that just came into the world, and and this is your task. Uh, and so, essentially, how you would probably solve that is is you'd look at this equation, you'd see the mushroom, and the easiest way to solve the level would be to to get big, like and to, but to get like really big. So, I think like essentially, if you had like a, a three hundred foot tall Mario. Uh, essentially, that would be the, the, the simplest way that you could possibly solve level 1-1 one, one of Mario Brothers. Because if Mario was 300 feet tall, you could just make him, th you would have to make him 300 feet tall, and then you would have to make him fall over. Uh, and, and that would basically be it. <laughs> so if you, if you did those two things, you'd beat level 1-1. One, one. And if you had no other rules whatsoever, that would probably be the simplest way to do it. Uh, but let's if you start introducing other rules that's where it gets a lot more complex especially for this this brain that would we would be creating to to try to do this so essentially that it, it we would have to teach it that it can't be 300 feet tall that they have to know how to walk when they know how to walk they have to know to walk forward like they don't know exactly like why exactly it's it's fundamentally the best way to walk is to walk straight ahead um they also have to learn how to jump when to jump what happens when you fall off a cliff? What happens when you take a mushroom? What happens when you run into an enemy? What happens when you run into a pipe? Literally anything that you can think of, the, the AI has to, to think of that and, 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 and go through that process. So within that, the important lesson is, is that oftentimes, not just sometimes, but often, the most efficient path isn't the most ethical path or the right path. So how do you teach that to something if they don't even know what ethics is or they don't know what right or wrong is or they don't even know what the best way to beat Super Mario Brothers is and they don't know that you can't do it just by simply getting big. So fundamentally, these are the reasons why AI and ethics are extremely intertwined and extremely related. They're, they're very interrelated concepts because you can't have one without the other. If you're training a essential brain to do something, then you need to give the brain a framework, an ethical framework as to what is right or wrong, or else you will get all kinds of decisions and all kinds of unexpected decisions if you don't have any sort of framework whatsoever as to this is a right thing to do or this is a wrong thing to do. The only interpretation that you're going to get then is based off of the data. Uh, and so whenever you hear people talking about AI and ethics and you might be thinking like, why is this such an important issue? Very straightforward. This is the, the, the as uh, simple of an explanation as I can get. And, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. Thank you very much.